Generic greetings and welcome back to Satisfactory where in the previous episode we begun producing steel. Our coal supply is coming from about a kilometre over there and it comes down via the truck to the station and then is fed into all of these machines. Obviously we also need the iron as well which is from over there and whoa that was a really quick belt. <laughs> anyway in this episode what we're going to do is actually make some products. So at the moment we're just producing the steel ingots and we need to turn those into something that is actually useful and good for the factory so if we go over to um, number eight here slam down a quick constructor and we can see that there are two properties or two things that we can get uh, with the with the steel ingots so we've got the steel beam and the steel pipe now in terms of ratios I have no idea what we're gonna need but uh, if we look at the steel beam you can see it requires 30 steel ingots per minute and we are supplying from these foundries 30 a minute so we could go for a one to one ratio on that one however I believe the pipe is a two to one yeah it does say 15 there well it actually says no power but it also says 15 so you need 15 so we could have I guess one of these uh, two of these probably as a as a sort of girder as the uh, the girder factory and the other two set as pipes so we'll get four pipe and two girder I think that's a probably hopefully a decent ratio so let's just crack on so we will place this down I'm going to make sure it is aligned although we are not going to put it right next to it and then we'll place this over on the uh, left like so and then we're just going to build along as we uh, hang on why can't it got this encroaching on the position um, it looks like it's actually off center there but it clearly is not so don't know what's going on there we'll place it about there and then obviously we do need to connect this up as well so conveyor belts will go from one to two and then one and then this will probably not work out oh it will work out I thought it was gonna clip onto that one and you can see all of the resources coming into here and before I do anything else I want to set that to steel beam and then dump a lot of this steel into it because quite frankly my pockets are completely full and we'll get rid of some of that and there we go those will eventually start to produce some product actually they will probably produce product right now because we will set it to do just that I don't know why it's a bit further forward there hmm interesting anyway we'll place that in there and we will connect this up. The connections should be okay, and then we'll go from there and along. And that should be a decent connection, I hope. Yeah, and we are now producing some uh, steel beams. Only 10 per minute, so we got 10 minutes until we need to empty that. I will probably go for a box, perhaps, but we'll see how it goes. So, from these two, we do need to split the things off. So it'll come out and split off into two but I guess we'll build the constructors first and then we know where we're at. The problem as always seems to be that we will be running out very shortly of the uh, reinforced plates. So I'll have to go and grab some more. Um, two, three, four. So that should be all correct. Yes and I will set these over to the steel pipe and the steel pipe will eventually go on to create rotors. Um, actually it might it might create rotors. I haven't yet decided. Um, we can create things like uh, where is it? Uh, actually not in here because it's not in this machine. There's another machine that does it. It's the, uh, the assembler. Uh, if we place an assembler down we can see that we can create from here uh, rotors from um, well, we've got standard rotors, which is three iron bars and 22, um, 22 screws. However, the alternate rotor is copper cable as well as pipes, steel pipes. The stator, the standard stator, is similar. It's uh, the copper cable and the steel pipe. And the alternate stator is quick wire and steel pipe, so we have no way of doing that. Oh, we also have fabric now as well because, well, I went ahead and made some. So, that's that. And let's go over to uh, about here. It doesn't particularly matter where we go. I'm going to go for a splitter there. And we'll probably put the splitter sort of direct there and then we'll put the other one in. Um, actually, it would be probably beneficial to put it right there and then hopefully we have enough of this to connect it all up. I don't think we'll have it all I don't think we'll have the full amount but we'll have the majority of it um, no we don't have the full amount what I'll do then is I will uh, put that there, I'll put that in um, probably here and then we'll connect all these up and then it means that these can just crack on and do whatever they need to do like that and it means that from here 
if I dump some of this in, we will pre be producing the uh, the steel pipe, which we are. Excellent. And also I got rid of a lot of stuff in my inventory. Right, so we'll sort all that, and we can see that is now getting outputted. We're outputting, in total, um, 60 steel pipes a minute. Obviously, once these ones are turned on, which they're currently not. Um, and we're producing, I believe it's 20 of the... Um, oh, that's pipe as well. Uh, 20 of the steel beams so that's pretty good um i'm very tempted to make that go further forward just so it's in line with the rest of it because otherwise we're just gonna it's, it's just gonna eat away at our soul basically if we don't so that's um i think a legitimate reason for that I'm gonna head over to where we've got all of our power and we want to actually check that as well we also didn't particularly want to jump off that um but we'll uh, eat some of these barrel nuts and we'll be all fine there and pull back our other sword. You can see that is currently out of power. This is our biomass reactors. We haven't filled them up. We don't really see any point because... Ooh, I now see a point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we need some more power, so we'll probably sort that in but a moment. Let's run over here and we'll grab some of the resources. You can see all of the steel plate, uh, sorry, the iron plate coming along here. And this is where we are producing the, um, well, we're producing the reinforced plate. And then that goes over to here, which then produces the frames, which if we see, we've got a fairly decent amount of frames. Uh, we do need the frames for some unlocks. There's uh, 72 of those plate and then lots and lots and lots of rotors. I don't think we need to alter the rotors. I think the rotor production is pretty okay. The problem is going to be the plate and we might go ahead and get some stitch plate which is um, something I mentioned a couple of times before, it's uh, where you use the copper, but we'll have to see. Just going to double check to see what our see what our requirements are for this. I think it was 500, um, 500 frames and, oh yeah, 500 modular frames and 150 mortars to get a tier 5 and 6, but we're nowhere near that. So I need to get back up to there, and I'm going to do so by going into a secret cavern. Shall we have a look in here? So this is where we've got a weird cave. I mentioned this in uh, one of the episodes ago where I said um, basically there is a cavern and you can have a sort of look around and gather resources and it sort of goes all over the place but um, getting out is going to be the problem. In fact, can we get out up the top there? Um, it looks like we can. I'm also worried there might be some beasties around but we'll we will find it later on. Uh, there is one of those work in progress crystals. Um, I could pick it up, but quite frankly, there's no need. We do have a couple of sitting in a box, but uh, there you go. Uh, we're going to head up here, and then you sort of jump down there, which is like a basically it's a one-way checkpoint, and then out. And this is, I think, believe I believe this is the fastest way up the mountain we have currently, because <laughs> you can see we're now up here with the uh, with these. So yeah, I think that I think that is possibly the fastest way up, but um, not entirely sure. Anyway. Let's go over here, and we will connect all of these up, and then we will have some good production. Um, I will connect that up to there. Good grief. It's really difficult to see what's happening when you're um, standing on top of that. I'm going to disassemble that and disassemble that, as I said, just because I want it lined up. And I don't know why the rest didn't line up anywhere, but um, yeah, whatever. That is not a massive concern of ours. Uh, what is a concern is that it's not lining up at all. That should be lined up now. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. I mean, it's all aesthetics, you understand, but uh, actually it's not. It, it, it is. It does serve a, a purpose, um, and the purpose is that we can easily um, identify what's coming out and all of that sort of thing. Right, so we are producing steel pipes and also the steel uh, girders. So, in order to automate our um, next tier, we need to have automated modular frames, which is being produced over there. We also need to have some... We also need to have some motors which require stators and rotors. So let's just shove this down once again and we'll have a quick check. So we've got two versions of stators. The standard stator is copper wire and also some um, iron pipe. If we click on that it requires 18 iron pipe a minute. Uh, what would the effect be if we overclocked it? I cannot find out because I can't. I don't have any overclocking on me. Um, but if we get that to say, oh, actually, I believe if we overclock that will be 22.5. Um, so that would be that would be two of these. So that'd be fine. Um, we could merge those together and have that producing status. The other alternative is that we've just blown the grid up. I believe. Um, let me just 
have a quick check of that. Yep, it has just gone over our 400 megawatt capacity. So that has altered uh, what we're going to be doing. So let me just go over here. One more check there. So over to recipes and alternate of the stator, which requires quick wire. So we're not going to do it because, quite frankly, I believe the closest source of quick fire, uh, quick fire, uh, quick wire, um, which would be this um, catarium or setarium or. or Flibblaw. It's over there and it's, yeah, it's 600 meters away there and 700 that way and I don't think you can place an automated miner on it. So that is a problem. What also is a problem is that we are not running out of space for where we place our, um, where we place these, but it's getting there. Let me, do we want to go ahead and do this? Foundations all the way along here. Um, as long as we have up to there, we should be fine, and we do have there, so what I'll do is rip these sides off. These were just mainly for aesthetics. There's no uh, physics for things like bending and snapping off or anything like that. It's just um, as you go, and this is going to eventually... Is it going to hit? It'll hit eventually, but you know what? It's nothing we can... Nothing we can't really alter. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back to on and hope it stays on. It's not going to stay on. That is a that is a big problem. So I'm going to uh, go to coal generation here and I'm going to get another coal generator in because it is imperative that we keep the power on. And not just because of production. There's actually a much bigger issue that, um, that we face and that is that... Hang on, that's wrong... There we go, we'll jump up there, and we'll place that splitter into, um, where is it, in. The most, the much bigger issue is that we are currently getting all of our coal, all of it, in its entirety, that's generally all, 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 all means, obviously, um, via trucks, and the trucks fuel up from the, uh, let me put that on, that should, that should be on now, there we go. Um, ooh, that's still close though. Um, those fuel up from the truck stops, but they require power to mine resources, and if they get empty, then we're screwed. Um, it means that you've got trucks stranded everywhere, and I've had that happen to me in other games, and it is a nightmare to deal with, so I would highly recommend that you just get, at a minimum, just some sort of base basic production up and running. It doesn't matter. Just get something going. <laughs> as long as it's going, even if it's very close to blowing up, just get it working. Um, in terms of how far we can take this, we are pretty much um, on the limit now. I don't think it can go any further. In fact, I'll probably go ahead and remove those in a moment. Um, what I'll do, though, instead is just come along here like so, and we probably want another way up. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that. I'm also going to rip that power line off because it's uh, just a little bit garbage when it's going through the ground. Um, obviously, that's going to power down this thing here, but quite frankly, I think we could... Oh, actually, that's... Ah, that, that was a very, very integral part of the uh, building. Um, I'm going to place a, one of those there and then one over um, there, and then we'll connect that over to there because quite frankly that powers <laughs> everything over there everything so I didn't realize just how important that line was uh, and just to make sure that we don't do that again uh, let's do that right so more power is needed so let's do that so over to power and call Jenny Rater and we'll probably be able to fit another two in um, any more is probably going to be a bit of a push um, so one can go in there and then the other can go in there and then we are pretty much on the limit so yeah we might as well remove these and then we can call this this area pretty much done obviously we will need more power um, probably sooner rather than later as well um, but we'll see so input goes in there and then another one in there well, I mean that's increased our power a little bit and it shouldn't have it shouldn't have massively um, affected the supply of coal which shouldn't have um, overrun the supply but should I say um, although we might need a tier 2 miner because I don't know I can't remember if we placed a tier 2 miner over there I'll have to check that at some point um, so that can go there that can go uh, there it doesn't really matter where they go as long as they're connected up we're not too fussed on aesthetics there and these should all be now powered up and our capacity is uh, 550 megawatts that is good just going to go and double check to make sure that the truck is still driving forward and we have got good 
uh, throughput. You can see that's uh, working there, so that's good. I'm going to have to jump on there and see if this works. Uh, that is upgrade to level 2 as well. I thought it was. I just wanted to double check. Um, call is not great, actually. Look at that. Although, to be fair, um, a lot of that would have just been to fill up the four empty ones or three empty ones that we've placed. So, that's not too bad. We might have to go ahead and go to the other place and put a minor two there, if indeed it was not set to a minor two in the first place, in the first instance. So, with all of our extra power, we could probably go ahead and produce some of the, uh, the the stators and then eventually mortars. The problem with that is it's actually a logistical problem. It's getting the resources to where they need to be. Now, to produce the stators, we need to get the copper cable, which is over here, and that needs to be up there. Now, that is quite a distance away. It's also um, a lot of vertical distance, so we need to fix that problem. Now, the way to fix it is almost certainly to go up and around there along and then build a bridge to go up to there and then across rather than having to work our way over there. That is one solution. The other solution is to bring the pipes down here which I'm not really too keen on doing. This is all of our tier 1, well mostly our tier 1 stuff down there. Oh no, that stuff up there is the tier uh, T1 and 2, sorry, and up there's 3 and 4 with all of the steel products. So we know that there's a, a split there. But as I said, that's not a hard and fast rule, but um, for the time being, that's just how it is. Um, I'll take some more, of this, uh, some more of this cable while I'm here. So that's the solution for making that up there. Also, what else did we need? Uh, let me just double check the um, things here. So pick that up. So the, uh, the alternate rotor... Um, which we don't need. I think we've got rotors working fine. Um, alternate rotor. Okay, right, that's okay as well. So, quite honestly then, quite honestly, we need the copper up there, and we also need the rotors up there. The problem with that is, as I mentioned, that the rotors are there. You can see the rotors coming out of here and going into here. We could truck it. That is a possibility. However... Do we really want to do that? That's a big... I mean, we'll probably have to run the thing along here, and then up there, and then across. Hmm. It also depends on whether we get the stitched plate. Because I'd like that uh, extra thing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a little explore. The factory's producing okay. We've got some stuff going up the top. Actually, I'll go and place the boxes. So while we're exploring, it'll be alright there. Because I want to try and find another... A bit of, another bit of research. Um, speaking of research, we should have already got something. One second. There we go. This fabric is suitable for the creation of parachutes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. So we have parachutes now, apparently. Parachutes is there, yeah. There you go. Slows down your fall when activated midair. Might as well get it. Start some more research on the alien carapace. Because why not? And now we will. Uh, I'll build the truck in a second, actually. Sort the inventory. We've got a lot of stuff on us that we really don't need. We don't need all that concrete. Uh, we don't need mycelia. We don't need. Uh, we need the coal. Certainly don't need all that there. Uh, or a lot of this. And the problem is, almost certainly, that I'll forget that this stuff's in here. But, you know. Uh, what are we going to do about that, eh? Uh, um, I can go in there. Keep a couple of bits and bobs on us. Actually, I'll put there. That should be about right, I believe. Okay, so. Um, not tractor, we'll build over there. Let's build the boxes first. Uh, sort that inventory. And logistics. Actually, it's not logistics. In organisation. Our box there. So we need a couple of boxes and a couple of... Uh, a couple of combiners. A couple of um, joiners. A couple of... Uh, mergers. Yeah, got there in the end. Just like a... Th <laughs> trying to think of the word. Going through a thesaurus, trying to figure out which one it is. And what is up with that one? That is... Oh, full of pipe. Well, that's a good problem to have. Now, these are 15 a minute. These can technically go into just one box if we wanted to. Probably not going to do that. I think going into 
The two would probably be a better idea. Um, what might not be a good idea, though, is putting this thing right in front of that. Although, to be honest, we don't think we can. Um, oh, we can. We can put it there. And then we'll put the merger in, which will have to go... Uh, actually, that should be fine. That technically should work because we've got all the lines. Even though it looks like it's not, it, it can. <laughs> and, uh, why can't that work? Encroaching the clearance of what? Ah, uh, it's encroaching the clearance of that. Okay. So we try to cut some corners and all that happened is um, it messed up. And that's going to be difficult to remove. There we are. Right, so we'll try that again. Merger. I'm um, just checking to make sure that is lined up. It is not lined up. In fact, it was nowhere near lined up. Alright, so there we go. So that can go in in and about there. Storage box. Try to check the lineups. And it's inside that. I might as well chop that down. There we go. Saves messing around. Alright, so in there. Ooh. In there. Yeah, that's much better. And there you go. Bit of a upheaval there, but it's not a problem. More merges, so we'll spin them around. Um, yeah. question is, can we get them all in? I think we can. It's getting them lined up is the problem now. Don't need too much of a gap. Better when you stand up here, you can see what you're doing a bit better. Oh, come on! I need. I really need some Blade Runners at some point. You can also get a jetpack, but that's uh, a lot higher tier. Same as um, it has been pointed out that you can get a a jetpack. Um, I don't have either, and I probably won't have either for quite some time, if at all, if ever. Who knows? Right. So we will dump in some of those resources. We will let's keep the wood on as it doesn't really matter. And what I want to do is have a little explore, probably over there, because that's not that's not a place we've been. And as I said, I'm looking for this. Uh, I'm looking for another wreckage. I don't think there's a way to scan for wreckage. Um, no, I don't think there is. However, we can get a scanner for other things. Oh, look at that! Uh, supply of coal is. Interesting. And, oh, hang on. Here's the truck coming back. Just in the nick of time. Wow, that's some... Uh, that is some just-in-time processing there, isn't it? But the production isn't good. That's a problem. Okay, I'll deal with that at some point. <laughs> uh, it ain't gonna be now. And what? I'm missing rotors. Oh, I'm missing rotors. Great. Yeah, that's a problem. I don't know why that's not producing as much as... Ah, you know what it might have been? I think I only used tier 1 supplies. I used minor... I'm pretty sure we used minor 2s, but did I only use tier 1 belts? I cannot remember. I have got enough for that. Let's just finish this bit off here. There we are. Might as well. So in terms of our direction, yeah, I think it's east. It's east as we like. Okay. And the advantage is that it's relatively unexplored. We have been to the top of that, and that is about as far as we've been. Um, should we go down there? That seems like a logical choice, doesn't it? There's a tractor. Um, vehicle. Coal. Let's go, and hopefully not crash into everything, and then die. So, this looks to have, it looks a fairly open area. This will connect up eventually to the uh, on the left and go up to where our 
Uh, coal supply is, I think. Yeah, our truck station's over there somewhere. Uh, down here is a fairly big ravine and valley. And I can already see some fluffy tailed hogs, I think they are. No, it's not. It's one of the spitter things. I find that dealing with it early is the best course of action. Oh, hang on. So, I was going to go down there. There's a lot of weird gas. Also, over here, you may notice there's some fluffy tailed hogs. And at the end, oh, there's a couple of fluffy tailed hogs. More than a couple. Oh, have to be careful around here because there is a very big cliff over there. Yeah, being knocked off that would not be conducive to life. Uh, green power slug, good. We can have a little look over here. Ah, that's bad. Lots of skeletons down there, or something. Uh, some mushrooms over there, bacon ones. Okay. Not seeing anything of great interest down there. But it must have something going for it. But I think over there is probably the way to go. See our space needle from here. Sorry, space elevator. Uh, left or right? We'll go right. In terms of traction, this thing lacks it. <laughs> it's actually, it's not too bad. It, it... It gets to where it needs to go, it just very rarely gets there at any great speed. But better it get there in general than not get there at all. A uh, lot of beasties around there, I'm going to go the other way. And over there looks to be some sort of different biome. Um, that's interesting. Also it looks like there's some mushroom stuff over here and oh! Is this the wreckage we've seen before? I think that is the... I'm sure this is the wreckage we've seen before. Um, yeah, it's all been cleared out. This is the wreckage we've seen before. Yeah. So, that one's been cleared out. The one over there's been cleared out. So, really, it's wherever the hell the others are. And I don't want to back up too much into that stuff because it does hurt you a little bit. Although, to be fair, you can get a gas mask later on in the game. But it's really high tier. It's like pretty much the top tier thing you can get. That and the jetpack, I think. But I guess that... No, without those two... With, well, without those two, you just can't get to certain places. It's just It's impossible. And, right, that looks like to be some sort of... Um, fight ball, <laughs> for lack of a better term. And... Is that a big beastie? Uh, it looks to be a fairly big one. So I'm not going to go down there. Um, that'll be us for next episode when we try and take that thing on. And there's also a slug there as well. So, uh, yeah, next episode we'll probably go down there, get that slug, um, fight that thing or die or um, both, uh, as the case may be. That looks to be some sort of different, or maybe sulfur, perhaps? But we'll see. We'll see. And then I need to sort the coal supply out, but I might do that in between episodes. And I also need to figure out where these other things are. And then the monumental task of building the uh, huge length of um, belts to go up a mountain will begin. So, interesting times ahead. Hope you have enjoyed the episode and the videos as well. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.